Christmas Eve in 1940. Stars were burning, burning bright, and all along the western front, guns were lying still and quiet. Men lay dozing in the trenches, in the cold and in the dark, far away. Behind the lines, a village dog began to bark. Some lay thinking of their families. Some sang songs while others were quiet, rolling fags and playing brass to pass away that Christmas night. As they watched the German trenches, something moved in no man's land. Through the dark there came a soldier carrying a white flag in his hand. Then from both sides men came running, crossing into no man's land, through the barbed wire, mud and shell holes. Shyly stood there, shaking hands. Fritz brought out cigars and brandy, Tommy brought corned beef and Fags. stood there talking, laughing, singing, as the moon shone down on no man's land. Christmas Day, we all played football in the mud of no man's land. Tommy brought some Christmas pudding. Fritz brought out a German band. When they beat us at the football, we shared out all the grub and drink. Fritz showed me a faded photo of a brown-haired girl back in Berlin. For four days after, no one fired, not one shell disturbed the night, for old Fritz and Tommy Atkins, they both lost the will to fight. So they withdrew us from the trenches, sent us far behind the lines, sent fresh troops to take our places, told the guns, prepare to fire. And next day, in 1940, flares were burning, burning bright. The message came, prepare offensive. Over the top, we're going tonight. And men stood waiting in the trenches, looked out across our football park and all along the western front the Christmas guns began to bark